So we saw the common names. Now we come to the IUPAC nomenclature. Okay. The IUPAC nomenclature. And before we start that, we already know that there are saturated hydrocarbon. When I say hydrocarbon, it means it will involve only carbon and hydrogen. And when I say saturated, it means single bond, single bond. Why? Because no more of a thing can be added to it. It can be substituted, mind it, but you cannot add more. While in an unsaturated, unsaturated hydrocarbon, which is doubly bonded or triply bonded, what happens? In unsaturated hydrocarbon, what happens? You can add more. Here, can't add any more. Okay. And as it happens in a saturated solution, if it is saturated with sugar, uh, saturated sugar solution, you can add no more. Okay, unsaturated, you can. That's why the name. Now the saturated hydrocarbons are known as alkanes. You see that they are known as alkanes. Understand? Now what? Unsaturated, double bonded are called alkenes and the triply bonded are called alkynes. This we have studied in class 10. Okay. Now we start with the simplest. Okay. The IUPAC nomenclature of alkanes. And in that as well, we first name the straight chain alkanes. straight chain alkanes. We see that beyond, from and beyond butane, you start having different arrangements. Okay? We will soon go into that, but we are right now concentrated on straight chain alkanes. And when you say meth, meth, it means one. And the ane of the alkane comes in. Okay. What does it mean one? Oh. What does it signify? This is name. This is number of carbon atom. Number of carbon atom. Okay. So if it is, I should not say name, it is a, a, a prefix. Right. This is a prefix. So if the prefix is meth then it is 1 and the name is methane, methane and when you say eth 2, it is ethane, okay. When you say prop, It is 3 and it becomes propane. Structure, 
this is CH4. This is, I'll, I'll draw the structure. Ethane is what happens? There is a C that has to be that has to be tetravalent. It is tetravalent, so it has to be bonded to four. You just satisfy that, you get the structure right. Prop in three carbons in straight chain, you write it as this so this is nothing but ch4 this is nothing but c2 h6 line diagram is this no how about this line diagram is this no for propane we had discussed the terminal, the vertices or the junctions are carbon. If you do not, the terminal, the vertices and the junction. Terminal, vertices and junction are, are carbon. Okay. But is four. Butane structure four straight chain C four. H10 C4H10 line diagram so simple 1 2 3 4 they are all carbons and you do not show the CH bonds okay that that you can take care of pretty simple no now your headache is always till this place. After this, it becomes pent 5 hex 6. Name is pentane, hexane, heptane, hept is 7, heptane, oct is 8 octane 9 nonane 10 decane okay fine Nine is nine non nonain deck ten decane. Now you should understand one thing. I, I'll go go beyond ten also, ten, twenty, thirty, there is a whole series how it goes. Now now what happens, you should very well understand, if you have a, an alkane and there is one H less than the corresponding alkane, then it becomes an alkyl, okay. So alkane minus an H becomes an alkyl corresponding alkyl. So what happens if it is a methane which is CH4 then CH3 
and and why this becomes important we will we'll, we'll soon see when we go to the branch chain or the functional groups this has one hydrogen less so so one of the bondings okay one of the atoms is free and it actually gets attached to a chain maybe as a as a as a branch as a side chain so this becomes methane becomes methyl understand this was ethane c2h6 this becomes c2h5 and, and you show a show a connection the connection has to be with one of the c's right one of the c gets connected so so this becomes an ethyl methyl ethyl C3H8. This is this is ethane. This is this was ethane. C2H6 was ethane. This is propane. This is propane. This 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 becomes C3H7 propyl. Oh, prop. Then you get a YL. The initial name, original name, then a YL because. Don't start writing it as methe, methe, yl, because it was an alkene, a any that came in. Okay, like the sandhi that you study in Hindi or in Sanskrit, these are sandhis, right? Meth came and got attached with ane, so that's how it became methane. Methane is not a single word. You should and but the trouble is. It is written as a single word. Okay, it is written as a single word. But you should very well understand that these are detachable. Similarly, when you write a methyl, so so this is what is there. From methane, this ane went away because it is no longer a hydrocarbon that is absolutely saturated. It has one hydrogen less. So ane went away and il came in. So that's why it's methyl. Huh? So no nil. No. C nine H H twenty. It will be no nil. And C ten H twenty two. It is decil. Okay. What? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. This is no name. This is nineteen, and this is twenty-one. Sorry. Okay. So you'll find that alkenes have a formula which is something like this. Each differing, each successive one differing from the previous one by a CH two group. Okay. They differ by a CH two group. differ by a ch2 group okay watch what differ the successive okay the successives differ by a ch2 group get the point fine <coughs> and how do you name an alkyl how do i name an alkyl alkyl is one hydrogen less so cnh 2n plus 1 it was plus 2 one less 2n plus 1 this is an alkyl a general formula for alkyl correct okay <coughs> 